of peachy moonies welcome back to a new video sorry for my chaotic appearance today i've been doing a little bit of my korean lesson learning to say all this in one go not being very good at it though. so today it is cast monday i asked you guys what you wanted to see and quite a lot of you guys are still interested in seeing my old characters with new cc i'm honestly coming into the end of the number of these videos i can do just because i'm starting to get to the point of newer characters there's a few that i still want to do nathan for example is definitely one i want to do but these guys here were all kind of requested by you guys we've got Asha, who honestly looks great, but his face is very flat and unrealistic, so I feel like we can improve that. We've got Faith, who you guys have been asking for so, so much. We've got Jake, who, let's face it, kind of had Loki quite tragic CC. And then we've got Noelle, who I just kind of felt we should do since we did Charlie Rose in the last episode. I just kind of want to see what she could look like as well. So, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And let's get into giving some of my Earl Sims brand new, fresh, gorgeous CC. Starting with my man Asha. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? As I always do i'm just gonna clone them all just so we can get that beautiful contrast and compare as we like to do at the end so asha 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 like i said like he's a great looking sim he was a pretty much a massive favorite among you guys even when he take off his cc like i don't know he's just he's got a good look about him he definitely has a good look about him i i'm gonna find it hard to change his eyebrows because i mean i do really like his eyebrows but times change my cc style in particular has changed so i feel like we need to go ahead and give asha a little bit of a new look this is how my sims look with any cc I do have like skin overlays that just kind of exist even without me having to apply any like they're just there even if I take everything off like a default replacement that is the word I was trying to get I like this but it's making his eyes look awful tired which is a shame because look at the nose and stuff like I think the nose and that look absolutely amazing with this but you guys will be so so mad if I do that to your boy Asha you're just you're not gonna be best impressed like I can understand that again that one's so good but why do they have to have such tired eyes there should be an option for a less tired eyed one okay I might go for this compromise of having a little little bit of that on top. I think he looks quite striking, which is good. Ooh, I think he's looking pretty spicy so far. It's kind of hard to go wrong with Asher though, because like he's quite a spicy looking sim anyway, you know? Oh my gosh, I love these noses. I've, I've just clicked on it, so I can't see what it is, but I think they're all Obscurus. If you search Obscurus, you guys are always asking me where I get my CC from. So if you search Obscurus, there's so many like skin overlays that I use from there. They're very realistic looking. Like they're definitely not max as much, but there's some really good ones. I quite like this nose. That's cute. And then I feel like this just brings a little bit more realism back to his eyelids almost otherwise he's got that weird black line on top which i don't love okay i feel like we're looking good so far see these are such great brows i don't really want to change his brows whenever i do this i say that i have to change everything so i'll go ahead that was a fast change as soon as i put those on i'm like they look pretty good just keep those on for now and i guess since he's got blonde hair he would have fairer sort of features right so fairer eyebrows is probably a good thing i might even go for fairer eyelashes on him to be honest i just think it's gonna look a bit better that or that i have a few on the edges now. Nice. Quite pretty. I quite like the ones that point downwards. It's like men's eyelashes tend to point downwards because they're not curling them as much, I guess. Especially if it's a guy that's not wearing makeup. So I think that's a pretty good thing. There, we've got that nice match. Now, you don't have any uh, piercings. Shame. Those eyes are so pretty. I might have to put the same eyes back on because, like, I do really like those eyes. Unless I can find something else. Like, they're pretty good as well. His eyes are more green than that, though. Oh, my preference is just getting more and more realistic because, look, I like those, but they're even more realistic than the ones I'm using now. Now, now I'm looking at those and thinking they're too bright. Whereas before my eyes were so freaking bright. Oh, they've got like little bits of red in them and everything. Oh, I kind of like those, but I feel like they're meant to be more green. Sorry, I always spend ages on eyes because eyes are a window to the soul, okay? Ah. Eyes, man. Eyes are so pretty. And as much as I'd love to give him his old eyes, sorry, I know I'm still honking on about the eyes. <laughs> he can't get over the eyes. Uh, if I don't change all of the CC, I feel like I've not done the challenge properly. The challenge is to give them all new CC, so I will change. As much as I actually prefer his old eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and change his eyes out. Let's move on. Let's move on, because clearly I'm spending way too much time on all of this. And then let's make his lips look a little bit more realistic as well. Okay, he's looking... <laughs> He needs his beard back on. I need to give him some facial hair, don't I? He looks weird without facial hair. This is hard because I like all of his CC so much, but I have to give him new hair. And I actually have loads of new hairs that we can try from. But he kind of suits like the flicked back hair, doesn't he? So we should probably... I mean, this this is kind of a new version. Of... Oh, the color. Oh my gosh, the color selections. Horrific! Okay, not that. Oh, wow. That looks so much like his old hair, but different. Like, look, watch, watch. Look at that one. And then look at that one. So similar, but I actually think I prefer the old one. Oh, it makes it tough when I do this. Oh, 
we could be in with a winner. I like this one because of this bit. Like, if it actually puts, like, realistic looking like little edges, that's when I think the hairs look a lot better. I don't like it when they just start. I think that looks pretty good. I think I like that. I think he looks nice. Do you guys like him? I don't know. Is that one as well? That looks good too. Hmm. All these hairs are wings that I'm looking at, by the way. These ones here. And, uh, that one. Wings. So if you search wings on The Sims resource, that is how you get those. Okay, I'm gonna leave him just to see his for now. I'm kind of tempted to darken his beard a little bit. I'm gonna also strip the poor child. Why has he got such high socks on? I don't know, kind of like secretly hidden under him. Have you got four nipples? It sounds a weird question to ask, but I get it a lot, okay? I definitely put four nipples on my Sims quite a lot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace his full body tattoos because he had these ones before, but I've got new tattoos since then as well. So we should definitely have a little nosy at what we can give him. Uh, those ones are probably a little bit more feminine. They are intense tattoos. And this is all I got. And I said I had to give him new for everything. So here we go. He's now trouble. Uh, carpe diem, which is like, go for it. Kind of vibes, I think. He's got like a skull on his chest. Interessant, but whatever. <laughs> Let's dress you, friendo. So he's dressed before. Where's he at? Here he is. Put some clothes on, Usher Bobs. Okay, he was just casual. Casual chill vibes. So we'll try not to turn him into an e-boy. Might be a challenge. I'm gonna have to put some more beard on him. I'm sorry. He needs a little bit more. He needs more beardness. beardness. That's better. Just a little bit more. He looks like a real human being now, I swear. Did I already give this to Max? Have I tried to put this coat on every single sim so far? I think I have. I just, it just has like casual vibes to me, okay? I think that looks really nice on him. Like, he does dress quite nicely and he is an astronaut. I know it's, ca it's casual. It's not like super like OTT dressy up. Like if I give him these trousers kind of dark and then like the boots, I think that would look quite cute. I give everyone the exact same look. I know I do. I'm so sorry. It's because I'm boring, okay? You guys might not have clocked it yet, but chest me. It's because I'm quite boring. What about some like Chelsea boots? They're a bit like Chelsea boots. Why don't I have Chelsea boots in The Sims? That's the bigger question here. He kind of looks like he's in the army now. He's got army vibes about him. If he's an astronaut, he might be ex-military, you know, before we even met him. I'm not saying that's canon, don't worry. I'm just saying it's a possibility, okay? It could definitely have happened. My boy could definitely be ex-military. I think we're done with him. He now has his hands tattooed. Bit of um, an interesting change for him, but there we go, guys. New Usher, let me know what you think in the comments below. So he's gone from, I think he's kept his handsomeness, but here, I don't know, he just looks a little bit too cartoony. Like, I still love him, don't worry, but he's very cartoony. Cartoony, whereas in his updated look, he just looks a lot more real. He actually, I know he's not actually related to James, but I can see a bit of James in him. Maybe it's some of the CC is similar. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below though. Next up is Faith. Okay, so Faith is a bit of a funny one for me because I have given her a full CC makeover before, but I was trying to make her look as realistic as possible. Whereas now I just try and make my Sims like fit the style that I like to play with. I think they end up a little bit more realistic when I do this challenge, but let's go ahead and try and give little Faithy Kins a go. Like, you know, sweet little medical student, very like not overly bothered about her appearance too much. Maybe we can try and get a bit of that across. But as in like naturally pretty cares much more about the job in hand. While we're talking about doctors, shout out to every single person in any way involved in the healthcare stuff in the UK. You guys are literal heroes, actual heroes. And the NHS is amazing. However, all these eyebrows hate her. <laughs> she's just not really suiting them. I think she's got a strange eyebrow shape that I may have to go in and just kind of edit a little bit because it's very angular. I have this on some of my Sims. They just have quite angular eyebrows so let's just uh, go in first of all here do we yeah let's just soften them a little bit here bring them down a touch maybe there we go i quite like this color as well because it's like dark red eyes are scaring me <laughs> so let's bring them down a touch okay they're looking pretty good skin details now faith is gonna be big fun for me because she's freckly you guys know how much we love a freckly skin a freckly skin on a freckly sim we just love it okay got quite a strange side profile though i'd say i don't know i feel like a lot of uh the twins side get these kind of strange side profile oh my gosh look at that one's teeth oh <gasps> it has teeth showing through that is crazy I, it doesn't suit faith but that is like wow and then freckle time. I have freckles now that I did not have when little Faithykins was around. I'm kind of thinking this sort of like faint ones all over works better than like harsh ones just on her nose. Just cause like that was more the way she looked, I think. <gasps> what have you done? Get this off her, no. No, she does not have that hair. Though right now it definitely does not look like Faith. So I need to keep working on it. I don't know if it's the eyebrows. I might need to edit her eyebrow shape a little bit again. I think I'm gonna go for that. This is what I would have done before. Very like harsh eyelashes. I think I'm gonna soften them a bit just because she is fairer. Oh wow, 
Oh, they make eyes look huge. Look at this. Wow. Like, literally watching that makes me like, I have to try this on my own eyes. Because look how much bigger her eyes go. My eyes run so much though because of my stupid nose issue that I, if anything I put here would just immediately come off. Wow. Her eyes look so big and beautiful though. I actually love that. And I actually think I don't want to go too much on her makeup because like I said, I don't feel like she'd be that invested in it. She's a busy woman, you know? I think Faith was like, a, she was like a very good girly sim. And usually I get quite bored playing those kind of sims. But I think because Faith was the first one I actually played. I didn't get like very bored because it's the first time doing it. Otherwise, oh wow. Is it just me or does that hair look really nice on her? And it's like the first one I've put on, but it actually has really nice red tones. Oh, you look so pretty. But yeah, because she's my first good sim, I didn't get bored playing good. She was just, I miss Faith. It was nice playing a wholesome sim, but eh, nowadays for drama my way instead, plus. Oh wow. <laughs> I know how much hard work and maintenance curls are. So as much as she looks amazing like that, like literally so freaking cute. I don't think this girl had time to maintain curls, okay? Just definitely not. Too busy saving lives, you know? No, I'm gonna leave that on her. I think that looks really pretty. Does she have uh, her ears pierced or anything? Because this is very like red, red. Like, and her eyebrows are very red, red. I think it looks better a little bit more like, it's still obviously ginger, she's still a redhead, but it's a little bit more of a less like, kind of shade. A bit more like what color shade she probably would actually have been. I might even go a shade darker like that. Oh no, I like I like a more fair, like proper ginger. Perfect. Okay. And then again, just very casual. These sims are not giving me much chance to play with fun styles, are they? Let's give her a little casual look. With some little mom jeans. <laughs> Too much tum tum showing for Faith, really. But we'll let her off. I feel like she wasn't out looking for fashion, but she'd probably drop a bit of money on some baller shoes, you know? Just kind of like the in-between vibes. Oh, and I've got a belt to cover up that little bit that's showing because I just don't think she would, okay? I just don't think she would do that. Okay, there we go. I think we're done. I'll give her a little bag. I think we're done with little Faithikins. I think she looks really good, but obviously it's always up to you guys. So let me know what you think in the comments below. That is her updated form versus her old school form. I think she looks so, so good like this. She looks like she's off to go into hospital, get changed, put her scrubs on and go like save some lives. This one could be a little bit harder. Jakey Snakey. I just don't like like, I'm just gonna immediately- like, This is the thing! Look at his skin color underneath! I'll finally be able to give him a proper skin color. But for now, let's just go ahead and sort him out. He's meant to be fairly pale, so I'm- But I'm gonna give him it, like, on his skin, so that we can then put skin details on top. Like, I feel like that would result in a more normal-looking sim, you know? Okay, and then his eyes? What even color are they? They're, like, dark red. I feel like they're meant to be some kind of brown. None of these are quite right. Okay, we'll go custom irons on him. Again, I like the brows! He's the same brows that Asha has! They're nice eyebrows, but my challenge is to change every single thing. I mean, if I can make Jake hot, you guys will you guys will be so impressed if I can make Jacob hot. So I'm gonna try my absolute hardest with this one, okay? A lot of you guys not big Jacob stands. Let's see if I can change that. Oh my gosh, Claire, you won't change it by doing that. Let's fix this boy. Come on, Claire. You can do this. You can do this. I'm gonna finish this and you Ryder's gonna be like, see guys, this is what I was seeing all along. Ryder knew. It all makes more sense now. Okay, massive, massive improvements already. And we're only really just starting to get into this. He does have glasses though. And the skin details I've chosen won't allow me to put eyelashes on because they're on the same like setting as that. But I can't, as much as I'd love to give him eyelashes, it's gonna mess with the glasses. And I think you can't not give Jake glasses. Like he definitely wears glasses. I might even give him, I know this is kind of like we said we wouldn't do this. But if I give him my other glasses, he's gonna have the same glasses as uh, Ryder. And is it a bit weird if you both wear it the same glasses? Okay. Okay, that's a bit better though. They are massive, I know. Bear with me for now. Let's see what we can do. I don't have any other option because I can't give him the same glasses as Ryder Root, you know? I could give him laser eye surgery, always an option. Wouldn't be the first time I've done it. Also did it to myself, so therefore I feel like I'm allowed to do it whenever I want. I can at least give him some bottom eyelashes with this eyeliner, so that's always nice. I was gonna give him that, but somehow he already got it. He's doing fine by himself. I think he's looking cute. Should I bring his eyebrows up a bit so you can see them above his glasses? I don't know though, maybe that's too high. Okay, so his hair before was the the hair that I gave a lot of my men's because I didn't have many hair. Now we got a whole barbershop full. Uh, probably not something like that. Although he's, no, he's, no, no, way too pallor. I kind of want to go for this like adorkable nerd. He, that was what he was meant to be. He was meant to be a adorkable nerd. I just wasn't very good at making sims then, I'm not gonna lie. Am I, am I kind of creating Dan from Gossip Girl? <laughs> is that kind of where this is going? I feel like we're going a bit Dan from Gossip Girl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. He's looking very Dan, very Dan. Ali? What was Dan's surname in Gossip Girl? 
Humphrey! Yes, thank you, Ali. D he's looking very Dan Humphrey, is what I'm seeing. He's got that look about him. Did I mean to make him look like that? I can't even remember. It's so long ago. He is looking quite done, though, which means he only joined our series to get gossip on us, buy himself into our elite group of foot people. Spoilers for Gossip Girl there if you've not seen it. If you've not seen it, though, it's really old. I don't think you can spoil a show that's that old, okay? I'm kind of liking this, like, floppy, messy hair on him. I think he suits a longer hair a bit better. I think a bit of facial hair is just gonna, like, help finish him off a little bit. Just kind of bring him all together a little bit, maybe. But now I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like it on him. Oh, now, oh, oh, gosh, oh, no. <laughs> I think he definitely looks better. He definitely looks better. I don't know if I've made you guys fall in love with him yet, though. I want it to kind of continue his adorableness, though, with, like, you know, the little, the little toggle kind of top uh, coat. I thought that was kind of cute. What red? Is it a bit wild? I don't know if he's brave enough for red. Let's stick to grey. Let's stick to what we know is his safe zone. Let's stick within his safe zone. Why don't you not put boots on this one? Just once, Claire. How do you feel about not boots? It's it's a hard decision for me to make. Because they look... I, oh, you know, we're going to have to go for those. With the little cute laces. I think I'm going to leave him there. Let me know what you think. Did we manage to save Snakey Jakey? As a reminder, here is how Snakey Jakey looked before. Pretty snaky, very jakey. Basically, the colour of salmon when it starts to go a bit weird is the way I'd describe him. Like, you know, if you've got fresh salmon, you're like, oh, we've left it in the fridge a few days, let's give it a check, and it has that film over it. Jake is the film on Gone Off Salmon. I'm sorry, Jake, but that is what you were. Now, I've kept him pale, but... I feel like we've got a whole new Jacob here. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know what? Let's just check some different eye options. We might be able to make him just sing. No. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, he's scaring me now. Serial killer eyes. I wanted to keep, like, a little bit of red tinginess to them. I feel like this could be a good option. Okay, I'm gonna leave him there. Guys, did I save Jake the Snake? Let me know in the comments below if you like the new version of him. Does he does he creep you out a little bit less? Do you kind of feel like Ryder could have ended up falling for this adorable little nerd? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And let's move on to a final sim. Let me just crack my fingers. This is Noelle. I am low-key a little bit afraid of this girl. I, but I want to keep that fear, though, when we change of all of CC. She's meant to look a little bit scary, okay? It's just who she is. She has that kind of face about her. I'm also, like, conscious. I mean, let me pull up how Charlie Rose looked, because I don't want to go too similar to Charlie Rose, which could actually be quite hard. Oh, she looks so freaking adorable. I literally just tried those eyebrows on as well. She looked really cute at the end. But I feel like Noelle has a little bit of an angrier face. Like, she did have a little bit of a crazy life, to be fair. So, you know, you can, you can kind of understand where the girl's coming from with her rage about the whole world. Although I feel like she also brought a lot of it on herself, so... It looks to me like one of her eyebrows... It looks like this eyebrow's raised. Even though it's not, my brain is, like, tricking it into looking like it is. Okay, I don't... I might come back to the eyebrows. I know I always say that, and then I never get back to them. But just humor me. I may go back to them, okay? It just depends what we can do with some skin details. Like, I've got so many, but yet you're probably like, Claire, you've got loads. I want more. I feel like I don't have enough skin details. Like, really? I want more. I feel like a Widow's Peak vibes suits her a lot as well. Okay, I feel like there's one thing that's still very strange, and that is her eye colour. Th this is the kind of colour where I'm like, I don't even know what a version of that would be, because her eyes are like copper coloured almost. None of these match it, so let's see what we got here. Copper eyes. This, this ain't gonna be easy. Okay, so these two seem the most similar so far. These and these. For now, I'm gonna keep these just because I feel like they look, they make her look really sassy, and that's kind of a big part of Noelle. That's the reason she kind of went off and made mistakes, though, is because she she was so sassy. She just would never listen to anyone else. So I feel like having sassy eyes. Sassy eyes is a big part of who she is, you know. She's kind of scaring me. This is good though. If she's scaring me, we're on the right lines because like, okay, let's just bang some hair on her. Long brown hair. That's kind of, that's kind of a weird color though. Yeah, the browns are weird. No. I forgot wings. Wings browns are weird. Ooh, pretty hair right there. Oh, I like the, again, the baby hair on that's really good. It's kind of similar to what she had before, but I think think. I think this one, it, it doesn't go up as high, so it looks a little bit more real. Like, she looks very real. I, I've put those lips on trying so hard to get used to them, and I, I just can't get used to them. Especially since she is, like, you know, a little bit bad girl, a little bit, like, run away from home kind of girl. I feel like we can get her some clothes. Like, look, look how good she looks in a leather jacket. Like, honestly, she looks amazing in a leather jacket. I want to give her a necklace. I want to give her some hoopy earrings, even though I don't know if you're going to be able to see them or not. Fears! Got no feet! She doesn't even need feet. She'll come over and just stab you with the little stumps. 
she does not need feet at this point. I feel like the boots are so iconically Noelle though. Like, I have to put the boots on. I'm sorry, I just do. They're just, they're iconically Noelle. I think she looks so good. I love her outfit as well. I would definitely wear like this bit in particular. I put tights on her because she had them on before, but honestly, she doesn't need them. I'm gonna take the tights off. So this is new at Noelle. Oh my gosh, I wanna wear her outfit so, so badly. It looks so freaking cute. And here she is. I kind of feel like she looks like mean Deli. Can I just put that out there? Deli Grissy, she looks like a mean version of you. You're lovely and smiley and happy. But if you weren't, and you would rock this outfit as well. I don't know. I just get that vibe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which version do you like the best? Here are all of our new Sims as a little reminder. So we got updated Asha Rooney there. We've got uh, updated Faithy Kins, who to me still looks a little bit too neat, but I do think she looks really cute. Then we've got updated Jake. Did we fix him? Is he kind of cute geek now? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then we got Noelle, who is still just as scary as ever, but amazing now. I, I love her. I think she and Asha are definitely my favorites. But you guys are gonna love to let me know who you like the best in the comments below. Now, I'm kind of running out of Sims. So I was thinking for the next one, I wanna do Nathan. I also wanna do, is it the other Jake or Joel or the one that um, Emma was dating before she was dating, went back to dating Max. I kind of wanna do him. And then I need some girls. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know them in the comments below. After that, we switch to a new kind of cast Monday. So get ready for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to share it. Give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments. Give it some love. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.